Is this up? Looks like it is. Hey folks, really late night uh, micro stream here. Um, I just wanted to show uh, the result of messing around with the stuff that I did on Wednesday. I uh, basically spent a few hours afterwards just messing around with it and um, got some stuff working. So we're very used to this workflow of compiling a function and then calling it from the REPL and being able to get the values, um, whether there's one or more. Um, it would be handy to be able to do the same thing with GPU functions and that's kind of the stuff we were experimenting with in that other stream and now that um, works. So what happened just there is this went and um, looked, took the source code, uh, made a pipeline uh, with this as a vertex shader essentially, um, uploaded any arguments, done in this case, um, up to the GPU, ran the thing, used transform feedback, it run it on exactly one item, um, used transform feedback to capture the results and then displayed it here and disposed of all the stuff it was using. This means the round trip time is very high, but for working from the REPL, it's not too bad. Um, of course, this also works with um, different arguments. So you can say X is an int and Y is an int. Um, then we can, you know, do what we expect. Funk obviously still works and still returns 10, but if you pass in two arguments, they're also gonna work. Um, and then we can start doing, let's see if, um, if Nineveh is available. Oops. Um, we can go and load a load of other GPU functions. I'm not sure if this is actually gonna work, but uh, we'll see. Um, and again, this works for any kind of complicated thing. So we can load in a texture here and pass it up as another argument and it just works. And it means you're actually getting real values from the GPU uh, for these things. So if we look at Nineveh, oh, come on, let's uh, do noise. Let's see what we've got in there. Let's look at some Perlin noise. Yeah, here's, here's one, the 2D version. Um, so we should just be able to call um, what we just had actually and pass in some arguments and <laughs> we get something back. Um, So that's basically it. Um, we can now from Keppel test GPU code just by calling it from the REPL. Um, obviously doing this in any kind of loop is incredibly slow because you're doing, you're building and disposing full pipelines every time you do this. But again, for just testing something, this can be really handy. So while I go in and out of focus, you have a lovely evening. Um, catch you later. Thanks for stopping by.